So something boggled into my little brain this morning. What would happen if we stacked 10,000 bustling fungus? Let's find out. Now, obviously, bustling fungus is just a healing item. So, yeah, we're going to stack bustling fungus. But on top of that, we're going to stack some other crazy items to help us do some damage. But trust me, trust me, trust me. They're all going to be centered around bustling fungus because, uh, well, let's face it. Bustling fungus is definitely a way of life. Now, to make this challenge not absolutely miserably impossible to do, because I want to be able to make a video for you guys in a decent, reasonable amount of time, we are using Gudako, and we're going to 100x. Now, basically, all this means is that when I pick up one item, like so, it gets multiplied to 100, which is pretty cool. Obviously, completely overpowered, but we're going to be looping a lot today, so I figured it would be okay. And I'd actually like to open up this crate... But I'll be honest, I'm kind of nervous. I don't have any healing right now, so I need at least one white item. And then our healing is set. But for the time being, we are in a little bit of trouble because uh, I can't seem to find any white items. Oh, okay. Well, I'll definitely take a red, and that'll be a great time to grab our first damaging item, Nukahana's Opinion. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you don't know how this item works, it's kind of absolutely insane. Okay, it basically, <laughs> it basically fires out heat-seeking, wall-piercing, flaming skulls whenever you're healed and you know that sounds good right sounds cool but when you have 10,000 bustling fungus you are constantly healing which means we're gonna have a lot of damage flowing through our veins now i'll be honest it's gonna be pretty much the only red i'm gonna prohibit myself to grab today again just because i don't oh my gosh i i, I don't i <laughs> I don't want this this build to be about all about damage. Obviously, the star player has to be. It's just it's got to be fungus. It's got to be. But well, we will 100% grab some 57 leaf clovers because uh, well, it's gonna be absolutely amazing. We need that luck for stuff like stunning creatures, stuff like critical chance when we get some crits, and and it's just it's going to help us. All right, if I get that the fungus, I'm gonna yell. Okay, that's right, it's command. Now with this, it's a pretty tempting setup, but I'm actually gonna go for tinta bobble because again, I don't want crazy damage, and this is going to basically gonna be like a crazy good stun, uh, which you can kind of see there that will root the enemies and uh, especially against myth it's absolutely insane now for mythrix we have to skip final stage if we don't skip final stage mythrix we are 100 dead because he's gonna take all of our items and multiply them by an additional 100 mythrix will take all these and turn them into 10,000 items but just by himself just casually and then proceed to well spike kick us in the throat so let's just not experience that and let's just destroy him before he can get to us now the best way to do that is with a band um are we going to be able to do that probably not let's just be honest it's going to be kind of rough and i suck doing it so we're gonna definitely try but it will not be easy okay not gonna it's not gonna be easy whatsoever but we got our first item so let's grab 100 and 200 bustling fungus let's see how big the range is absolutely enormous that's all it's listen 50 bustling fungus is all a person needs and we just got 200 this also means that uh, our new kahana's opinion will be proccing as long as we're inside this giant green area so that's not gonna be an issue at all and uh yeah other than that we should be pretty much set to go now i want to get some better healing items so we're gonna grab a hunter trophy tricorn and now we're gonna find ourselves a stone titan and boom his head off and then we're gonna have a hundred titanic neurals which are gonna boost our regeneration and boost our base health so without further ado let's start this bad boy up and here we go all right where's this guy yeah that's a wandering vagrant we will definitely kill him though because if you don't know um command lets us choose whatever now honestly thinking here we could go for this but let's be honest we're never gonna get that low so let's go for uh yeah, let's go for Titanic Neurals. It's going to boost our health through the roof, and it's also going to make our regeneration roughly 160 HP uh, a second. So that's kind of insane. Let's grab some Gore Tomb, which is going to give us... Yeah, there we go. Uh, yeah, that's good. 100% uh, chance to drop it, and it's going to give us tons of money, which is going to allow us to loot even faster and do even more beautiful, glorious things. For example, I can just kill this little guy here and get this Gore's Tomb, and I'm a red Twitch man. Look at that, 94 bucks. Perfect. It's more money than I have in real life. And continuing on, of course, we're just going to continue to stay stack bustling fungus now i know you're thinking this is overpowered it's not fun Le legitimately the entire point of this video is to be overpowered so if you're gonna complain about how overpowered this is or anything like that just see yourself out honestly and we need a new equipment item because we uh used ours and now we can, only, we can do is say ahoy so let's get a new equipment i'm thinking
anything. Honestly, I don't know what to get here. I, I kind of just want to get a vase, to be honest with you, because that's going to allow us to skip pillars. And, uh, well, skipping pillars with engineer is kind of insane. Not that we would have to have worry about anything. Look at what we have. But it's just kind of annoying. Okay, once, you, once you've done this one about a thousand times, like I have, it's just kind of annoying. So we're going to skip it. And also, it's pretty good mobility. It's not perfect, but it's pretty good mobility for an old engineer here. So we'll definitely take it. Just, just, just for that at least. I was going to say we did another green item. Look at that. We're going to go ahead and grab a bunch of fuel cells. And this is going to make our cooldown reduction 100%. So we're going to get all these. Uh, we're going to have 100 vases and basically never be able to keep up with how many vases we have. Which is fine by me. Another item. Up to 500 bustling fungus. And now this is going to just slowly but surely skyrocket our health per second into the air. We're at 1,127. That's kind of insane. I mean, that's really, really kind of insane. Now to get 10,000 bustling fungus, I mean, as you can probably imagine, we're going to have to loop a couple of times, which is going to be kind of fun. I don't really loop ever in my videos, so that's going to be kind of a cool little side mission, little side quest going on. Or we could get a ton of greens, print them all into reds, and then go to final stage mission and print the reds to whites we'll have to kind of decide when we get there and actually now that i'm thinking about it i think that actually might be a little bit better of an idea so that means we have to grab a ton of region scraps and it's really good that we're getting a bunch of them now because they also have a little funny glitch with this mod that whenever you <laughs> go ahead and use them in a lunar area they tend to multiply crazy crazy amounts so we go to the lunar area we use our 400, which is like, what, 40, I think? Either 40 or 80 reds, but those 40 80 reds is actually multiplied by 100, so you can kind of see how crazy that's going to get. Let me go find this new portal, and I'll be right back. Hmm, to be honest, I don't know where it is. Uh, that's all right. Another white, another fungus. We'll probably be able to get to like 1,000 before the final stage here, if we can correctly do our technique. But I think we should be good. 27,000 healing, by the way. That's pretty good. I did a video a while back where I didn't even know that, that the Gudako mod was a thing. And so I manually stacked up to, I think, about 400 bustling fungus. And it was insane. It was really, really cool. It, it, it was really, really, really broken. So uh, we've already passed that by a lot. And that's just going to continue up. Oh, gosh. 2,000 damage already. Okay. So we're going to be a little bit broken. Just letting you know now. Strap on. And, and, and keep your seatbelts tightened, everybody. I'm going to grab 100 because I was banned for late game. And I need to find a new altar in this next stage. Or else we're going to be kind of screwed. Because the earlier on, you can start the kind of duplication process, whatever you want to call it the better off you'll be so i'm gonna go ahead and grab aegis because i gotta run out of that shipping crate there and aegis with this build is actually kind of insane you can see in the bottom left corner we're always overhealing, so that's gonna give us roughly double the amount of health we normally would have which is kind of insane i'm not gonna lie and another fungus that's gonna be 1,000 funguses. Nice. Uh, 2,252 healing a second and a massive radius of 1,501 meters. That's literally, that's, that's probably, you could place it down in the very bottom of the moon and still get healing at the very top. Yeah, that's insane. Also, ladies and gentlemen, if you wanna see any other items stacked to 10,000, let me know in the comments below because let's be honest, you can't beat 10,000 of any item. And it also is super fun to watch the game have aneurysms on end. So let me know. Continuing on, the only issue here is I don't know what to grab for greens. I mean, I don't want to break the game. I also don't want to get stupid pointless items that we can't use. And I don't want damage. So I'm kind of stuck in this weird boat. I mean, we could go for more stuns. We already have 100, though. Let's, let's go for this. I mean, in case we get hurt, falling below 25% health gives us invisibility. And it has a 0%, zero second cooldown. I mean, it's kind of pointless, but it's okay. And I kind of just forgot again. I need to get regenerating scraps. Am I stupid? All right, hold up. I know what I'm doing now, ladies and gentlemen. Also, we're at 1.1k. Let's go. Well, sad news today. I did not find a new altar. So we, we're probably going to have to loop just because of the fact we can't find a new altar, which is going to be kind of, I mean, it's unfortunate. Don't get me wrong. It's unfortunate. But it is what it is. You know what I mean? It is what it is. Okay, on to Abyssal Depths. This is kind of cool. We're going to be able to get a red item for sure. Oh, there's two mountain shrines. So we're going to go ahead and activate both those uh, just for the fun of it. Literally, there's no reason for us to do it except for the fun of it. So let's just do it. Yeah, stuff like Magworms, it just completely gets countered by Nugohana's opinion. And it's kind of insane. It's just kind of insane. Because it legitimately just tracks them through the ground. There's nothing that they can do. Absolutely zip nada nothing they can do which it sounds really cool but it also means that mythrix is going to be able to do this exact same thing to us 
So we have to, legitimately have to skip final stage matrix or else we're dead. We're, we're, we're done. You know, in the past, when I stacked, I think it was what, 1,000, 2,500 different soldier syringes on commando, I was able to skip pillars with my primary fire. But if you don't know, engineer is the weakest character of all time. Look at this. Wow, that's just embarrassing. Man, there's just nothing spawning. Can we get some spawns, please? Okay, cool. So a few seconds later and we have enough to buy that chest. Now I'm I'm only really buying this chest so we can just get some of the more Nuka Hana's opinion. So so that we may have to scrap our reds twice we can because i mean honestly whatever reds we get in here it's not going to make a difference whatsoever so we'll just grab whatever we want and uh we'll be good to go um i'm actually let's grab some interstellar dust plants i mean it's just going to be more fun of healing and that's that's good for me i'm also not sure where the newt portal spawns on this map but i thought it was up here i may be mistaken where's this new portal at i'm sure someone will help me out in the comment section but only bad news is i don't know where the comment section is right now well everyone excited for me to loop Guess what? I think you just got your wish. Does not seem to me like we're going to be able to get out of here uh, and go to the new altar. So we're going to just continue on and uh, that's going to be a, a okay. Now, you can tell I'm still getting healed over here for, for uh, roughly 48,000 damage. And uh, and there you go. I'm just going to stand here and let my floating skulls of death do the rest of it. And that's going to be just perfect. Uh, by the way, my turret was placed down from the beginning. It's the same turret, by the way. So that's, that's the distance we're at right now. And it's going to get even more insane and saner. It's going to be even more insaner. All right, Honest Guy met us. Now, we should be able to get a altar on this map. I'm pretty familiar with this map spawns. If I'm not mistaken, it should be right behind this rock. Come on, BW. Hmm, so you're making me work for it. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Joke's on you. I'm just going to continue forward, so screw you, game. Just continuing to stack these bad boys and make sure we set it to loop. If you didn't know, open is loop, closed is Mithrix, which is... Man, it took me a minute to figure that out, but we did do it, and there you go. Smell's control unit is down, and let's continue on with the scraps. Perfect. All right, resetting. Loop number one, ladies and gentlemen. All right, distant roots. Let's get this new altar, please, wherever you you are good thing about looping with this many items is that the game kind of starts to feel a little bit more fair the further on you go so it, it, it feels nice i kind of gotta be honest here we'll also go ahead and grab a safer spaces for a little bit more defense that we do not need but you know i'll definitely take and i ah, don't know why i'm talking you already know what i'm grabbing see we can go look up here for another new ultra spawn but i just don't know what the heck's going on okay well there you go ladies and gentlemen there's the range if you're wondering uh that's where the range is and i don't know why there's like five circles but there are uh, there you go also if you're ever doing one of these runs make sure to stack the crap out of uh shipping request forms because they legitimately just start giving you reds which is kind of insane uh, let's grab a bin raincoat uh, again don't need it but we will definitely take it and eventually we'll just get to a spot a looping point if you will where the game just gives us a free lunar blue orb so we'll be good but until then we're gonna have a little bit of trouble here uh again i don't want to go for anything else i say cell only gives us one additional turret so it's not worth it to lose all of our vases let's continue on wandering vagrants and deleted deleted and deleted perfect soft hands okay next up i guess we keep going on this we have a thousand regenerating scraps that's kind of awesome and hopefully next spot we'll get a blue orb <laughs> oh perfect look at that perfect uh that's exactly what we wanted actually how wonderful is that ladies and gentlemen uh that just means that we can actually just go to the next stage and we'll get a blue portal for free it occasionally happens i don't know what the chances are or how rare it is but uh it does occasionally happen and when it does happen it feels really good because it means we have to look for a stupid new portal anymore continuing on let's grab man what do we want here what's really good um oh everything is good i just don't know what i actually want let's actually grab this this sounds kind of cool uh, again doesn't matter what we choose we're just grabbing them so we can scrap them on later so that, that'll be fine that'll be good and we actually get to this next little lunar area what i will go ahead and do is get a ton of nukahan's opinion and um, that way when we scrap we'll have the highest chance of scrapping our nukahan's opinions and not all of our other fun good stuff i hope that makes sense now hopefully i have the faster printer mod installed i think i do but we'll have to test it and see hello mr new hope you're good here we go it is five items so we're gonna get a ton of these so yeah all we're gonna do is hold this down and you can also already see that our scraps multiplied they they already multiplied once so uh these bad boys here are already up to 900 
and 10, which is going to be so many reds. Okay, wait. Let me see something real quick. I, I installed Command Q, but I, it wasn't working earlier, so I don't know how to make it work. Uh, oh, well, that's easy. Well, for reds, we legitimately just want Nuka Han's opinion. Can we just do this? And now everything else new that we get. Okay, so the new ones are good now. The old ones are bad. Good to know. And we just spam F, and okay, that's so much faster. Yeah, shout out to all the people in the comment section. They're like, hey, you don't have to do this all by hand. <laughs> you know that, right? So, I uh, appreciate you all. Well, let's just hold this down and uh, watch the numbers climb. You can tell we're already up to 3,700, 4,000. Uh, how many should we go to? Maybe 5K or so? Yeah, let's go about 6K, and then it'd be good. 6,000 Nuka Han's opinion. Might be a little bit overshot, but hey, oh well. Uh, let's also go ahead and grab... Actually, no, I don't want... I was going to pick this up, but I actually don't want that. That'll... Yeah, that'll break the game a little bit. Let's actually see how much damage we can do this guy. I don't know if Nuka Han's opinion will actually hit him. We can definitely try, though. Yeah, maybe it won't. All right, well, we're out of here. Also, we're healing for 69,000, which is kind of hot. That means we are not allowed to pick up any more fungus at all. Just kidding. All right, now we're going to get back to the moon where Mythrix is, and now we can print up the rest of of our items uh, also you can tell we have just roughly what was that two hundred ninety five thousand? yeah wait no wait how many is that is that two million scrap that's insane all right well the game is broken but you can kind of see how silly the uh regen straps work in this game and, and it's kind of insane well we're already on stage eight so that means what we have two more three more stages to go and we'll be good uh, we should definitely just one shot this guy yeah he's just just a goner absolutely a goner um and we could go eliminate ourselves for our skin if you haven't already we're good off that. I think we're good off that. I'm just kind of thinking back now after seeing that Celestial Portal, how long it's been since I've actually gone to the Celestial Portal for a reason, like to get a skin. It's just been a, it's been probably, man, two years? That's so long. Well, ladies and gentlemen, watch this. Everything's going to die around me. Literally everything. Uh, now, the crab is scary because the crab can, can still eliminate us, which is not ideal. So we got we got to be very, very careful in terms of uh, that crab because that crab can make us have a very, very, very bad day very, very, very quickly. So let's just not deal with that. Also, I'm in the void area, but I don't really care, to be honest with you. We don't even care. We, we don't we don't care. We tank those and uh, we, we, yeah, we give it out for free. And there we go. Another stage down. Perfect. How wonderful is that? Now, I just got something that I probably shouldn't have got. I didn't mean to get it. I got the squid pull-ups which if you don't know that means that it's gonna spawn is it a hundred okay good good it doesn't spawn a hundred okay that's fine it, it doesn't matter then but when in doubt hop to the teleportal and get the heck out um teleportal that, didn't, that wasn't yeah anyways you know what i'm saying let's get this thing rocking and rolling all right grandparents so scary but uh let's be honest they're goners they're gone that's it so we got a void portal what the heck is that never seen that before it's probably something important though now i need to get some backup mags in the next stage as well because I, I need to... <sighs> Okay, if we can't kill Mythrix, right? What I want to do is get a little bit of attack speed and a bunch of backup mags, right? Then, 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 hear me out. We just place a bunch of mines at Mythrix's feet. And whenever he spawns in, if he even takes our items, all of our little guys will go after him. No? Well, actually, they might go after him while he's still... Hmm, this might not work. Bye, buddy. Deleted. We'll find out. We'll figure out a way to do this. But yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind that at all. This is good, though. This is really good. I think we have a red to white. That's all we need is a red to white. Come on, give me red to white. Give me red to white. Red to white. Red to white. Yes! Okay, it was hidden down here. So look, we get to put in one of our reds and we'll get 100 out. So we really overprinted here, but that's that's fine. That's really good. Uh, that's fine. That's fine, guys. Uh, we select this bad boy, put it on repeat, and now we vibe out. Now we absolutely vibe out. And we're up to 6,000, 7,000, 8,000, 9,000. Why stop at 10,000, though? 13K, 14K, 15K, 16K, 17K, 18K, 19K, 20K. Wow. 25k let's go to about 50k and call it even how about that and roughly 37k there's 40 um okay and there is okay getting close getting nice and close oh, a little bit over that's fine so ladies and gentlemen we have 50,800 bustling fungus healing for roughly what number is that uh 114,000 a second, which kind of is healing our guys around us for 2 million. Don't know how that works, but it definitely does work. So here we go. Uh, nice. Nicely done. Uh, anything else you need before we go up there? I don't think so. I think we're good. Uh, I think we should be vibing out. And ladies and gentlemen, the moment you all have been waiting for, let's see what we can do against Mythrix. Obviously, Mythrix is dead here. Uh, not much Mythrix can do against this. We gotta be very, 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 very careful that we can kill him on the final stage. So I almost don't want to kill him. So I'm not gonna place down my turret, even though we're already getting healed. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Okay, it's fine. Just make our way to the center. He's gonna get ticked down, but he's not gonna die, okay? He's not going to die. Jump that. Okay, and now we have to keep Mythrix right here in the center. This is the most important thing we've ever done. We have to keep him right here in the center. Destroy these 
idiots around us and keep them in the center. We've got to kill Mythrix right here while a fire tornado is alive. And if we can do that, we can kill Mythrix. We'll be good and he'll be dead. If we can't, um, let's not talk about if we can't. All right, because we're, we're going to be able to do it. And that's all that matters. Just believe. Just You just got to believe, everybody. Just got to believe. It's kind of a cool tactic to like just use your vase to get up to him. Because while you're in the vase, you can still shoot your flaming skulls. So that's kind of sick. We can just kind of be really, really annoying with these things. It's kind of awesome. And that should be the last one. Okay, here we go. He's going to spawn back in. Please. Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. Come on. <gasps> did we do it? We did it, right? Yes. Yes. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, if you saw that, uh, it happened really fast, but we did do it. Let's kill somebody else now. An MLG sniper. Whew. Man, I was stressed out about that one a little bit. I'm not going to lie to you guys. That one made me a little sketched out. All right. But we got him, and that's all that matters, ladies and gentlemen. And now it's time to fight the owner of the Krusty Krab. Also, I don't know what's going on with our health. It says we have like 18,000 or 100. I don't really know. It's glitching in a lot out of one. I don't know how I did that, to be honest with you guys, like at all. So we're going to find out together, I guess. That's just something you got to do. I don't know. Four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. Okay, cool. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I have a pretty special technique that I call put our turret over here and fly into the beast's mouth. Did you guys ever see Guardians of the Galaxy where, you know, Drax went in the thing's mouth and like cut himself out? You know what I'm talking about? Uh, I'm going to do a thing to this crab. He's a goner. Krabby! Come here. There you are. Watch, instantly dead. Instantaneously dead. Okay, no, actually, no, he actually tanked that, which is a little bit scary. Uh, but you can't keep up with it. Go. Wait, he's keeping up. Wait, ladies and gentlemen, he's actually keeping up. Let's put our charts on help help damage him out. Okay, with all of us damaging him, it's okay. Oh, he's actually taking our health down a little bit. Okay. I see you, Voidling. See, the Voidling's also really scary because Voidling has a black hole ability where he sucks everything in, uh, including you. And, and, and it's able to one-shot you, I'm pretty dang sure. So if we're not careful, we will definitely taste the wrath of the Voidling, which is not something that I preferably want. I don't really like calamari or whatever you want to call it so i'm, I'm gonna pass all right we're gonna pass but we will in fact fly into his mouth it doesn't really hurt that bad also before i put that guy down i was still getting healed from wherever the heck my other turret was but you know with, with 50, but you know with fifty thousand bustling fungus we have a range of seventy six thousand meters so um actually how far is that so we can roughly cover about 47 miles if my calculations are correct, which let's be honest, I'm a YouTuber, so my math probably isn't the best. But 47 miles is quite the long ways, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, we gotta be careful here, but if you get right underneath of him, he can't hurt you, I don't think, I don't hope. And let's see this. Now we're in a kind of a dangerous spot because if he goes a black hole move, we're screwed. But you know me, we're vibing out. Okay, cool. Final stage of Voidling time. Let's fly over here and see what this guy wants. If you don't know, uh, Voidling is probably the stinkiest boss of all time. But, you know, you never really know. Healing core? What the heck? All right. Wait, what the heck? There's so much damage to him. Uh-oh. Remember that black hole move I was talking about? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about right there. Uh, turrets are both dead. Yeah. So you can see both the turrets got instantly deleted. Uh, and that's because, uh, well, they got sucked into the world's largest black hole, which is not really ideal. Ooh, God, dog's that. Ooh. This is going to be kind of hurtful. This might hurt a little bit. Oh! Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Place these bad boys down. Come on. Back to damage time. Nice. Let's go. Holy crap. That wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be. I know. I know. I know. Don't say anything. I know. I'm just joking. And ladies and gentlemen, here are the items and here is the damage. Hey, altogether, pretty dang good. I like this a lot. Again, if you guys want to see me stack anything else to 10,000 or above, maybe we do 100,000 next. Let me know in the comment section below and we'll definitely get that video pumping out soon. All right, everybody. Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate you all. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.